Oh, hello everybody. Busy day here for me, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay, uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. I thought the railroad strike people had already reached a decision that uh, they had complied to the conditions of preventing a strike. And I thought that was kind of old news from last week, but uh, I seen it brought up again, so I'm gonna look into that a little bit later. Maybe they didn't agree. Who knows anymore? <laughs> well, now they're saying that Social Security, <laughs> hang on people, it's got to be cut. Well, so does that, that, uh, let's see, does that mean no uh, raise in 23 now? I thought they couldn't touch Social Security. I thought that was a secure account. So, if you guys hear any more, read any more, please put it in the comments. And thank you for coming to my channel. Yes, comment, uh, leave a like, and uh, please subscribe. Yes, I appreciate it so much. So, if Social Security gets cut, what does that mean for the rest of us that get Social Security and SSI? Does that mean SSI will take over then and add what we're going to lose on Social Security to the SSI program? So are they going to abuse the SSI program now by cutting Social Security? Oh, okay. Now they stated rents could go up every month. Every month month come on now is that what our future is gonna be well huh my god but rents could be going up again but then they said it could go up every month that's that's crazy that's got to be outlawed in my book who can do that well the government can there you go so then the landowners of the land that rent, like I live in a rent house, my rent went up 40 bucks. Yeah, first of the year, January of this last year. So they're gonna put higher taxes on the land that the landlords own then with their rental properties and their probably own place that they own are paying on with the rent they get from the renters. You know how it goes. Oh my God. And it goes now, can a landlord raise the rent every month? That Something's gotta stop that. Rent is way too high anyway. Half of these places that people are paying $1,500 a month, 20, them floors better mean, I've said this before, they better be made out of gold, silver, and pearls, and diamonds. That's stupid. They get rich. Yeah, landlords get rich charging rent like that. Just be careful who they rent to and they wouldn't have to raise their rent. Check out their uh, uh, resumes before you rent to a person. Don't move in with a person that don't have a good background of renting property. Now, how hard can that be? When you talk to somebody to rent your property, you should ask, where did you rent before? Write it down and start looking. Pay attention. Landlords say, well, I ain't gonna fix that house up. They've done tore it up anyway, it's trash. It's trash. Dog poop everywhere. Dog pee, kitty pee. You walk in that house, you smell cat pee, blah, blah, blah. Well, you didn't do your job, did you, landlord? No, you just rented it because you wanted that frickin' money. Well, it's your fault. Not the renters. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you, I... I, I ooh. <laughs> you know me by now. I get irate over stupidity. And money-grubbing hands. 
And then they blame somebody else for it. Yeah. And I'm not looking at the camera again. I'm so sorry. And I think my camera's a little bit crooked here. Let's see if I can straighten it up. Okay. Well, whatever. I'm just me. <laughs> I've been awful busy. Phone's been ringing off the hook all morning since 7 o'clock. Oh, the Medicare people drive me up the wall. I can't get a thing done. Oh, God. All right, where am I now? Let's see. Um, all I have listened to this day of 9-20-22 is bad news. Isn't there ever going to be any good news? You know, now if they cut Social Security, possibly no raise. So where does that leave the stimulus check that we need so bad? And where, where's the, the housing for the people living in the streets right now? What is all this coming down to? Boy, pretty soon when I go to bed at night, I'm going to have to take a knockout pill so I don't have nightmares. About the way the government has put us. It isn't the COVID that put us here. It's the government. Biden. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. And I go, wow. You know, if my rent goes up. Now, if you hear screaming, that's the two boys, kitty cats. They're play fighting. Oh, boy, they do. <laughs> you'll see the fur fly. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. If my rent goes up, your house payments go up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. House payment goes up. That tells me. We all will be sitting on the street curbs, park benches, eating our EBT stamp food. You better buy non-perishables. We might not even be able to afford ice or ice chests to keep anything cold. You know, we'll just be sitting there eating dry bread and whatever. Maybe apples, oranges, or something. Well, I guess that's pretty good, though. <laughs> Jesus, God. Oh, my God. Big layoffs, they're looking for them. It can't be stopped, they say. Big layoffs everywhere, all across the United States. We don't need that. You know it. I know it. Everybody else knows it. And why is my camera crooked? I think I have to mess up that little thing. Oh, I got a little catch on the side of it that you have to turn to tighten up the tripod oh whatever oh my god now let's see the ci the cpi report gas prices to drop now the gas prices did drop some but not enough now where's the percentage i put down the percentage here somewhere uh yeah, the cost of living, uh, let's see, last year, uh, no, not the cost of living. This must be the gas thing right here. Uh, the stock market is crying. Yeah, they're crying. Everything's dropping on stock market. Don't, don't, I don't know, but if you know what you're doing in the stock market, hooray for you. I wouldn't touch that stock market with a whatever. I wouldn't touch it but I'll tell you what if that keeps going down it's gonna break your pockets the investments that you've put in there I wouldn't touch that stock market with nothing and it looks like no news it's good news here bad news follows bad news up 8.3 percent since last year and groceries are outrageous and Biden says everything is coming down. Oh, yes. We're just really having fun here. We're going to party down pretty soon. Oh, my God. Here's the gas price. It's still up 16%, even though it has dropped down some. But it's still up 16% since last year. 
for the workers and their cars and their trucks to get back and forth to work, wives their cars to get back and forth to the grocery store. It is not enough. It is not enough. Well, that's all the notes I've got for this part right here. But I got something here that I came across. And like I said, later on I've got more coming if I can get this to work. I don't know. I don't know how to put a news thing into my video or whatever, but I think I've got this pretty well handled here. Economists are uncertain that the IRA or any of the other provisions will have an effect on rising food costs. The majority of these federal programs and funds in the IRA targeted at conversation, you know, potentially increasing conversation efforts around the country, says Glenn Tonser. As an agricultural economics professor at Kansas State University, that's not the same as increasing production. And that's relevant for the food price discussion because I haven't seen anything that's really about increasing production volume. And that would be one mechanism. Obviously, to reduce food prices, we increase the volume produce. Well, that makes sense to me. I don't know if it does anybody else, but it makes sense to me. Let me see if I can go down a little further. No, I guess I can't. That's the end of that right now. Uh, let me bring this back up again. No, uh, things are just getting way out of hand. Way out of hand. And I still, still can't understand. When a president started all this crap in the first place, why wasn't he stopped? I don't get it. He's hurt us. He's ruined us. And it's, it's getting worse. It's not going to get any better soon. If it does, praise the Lord Jesus. Well, I'll be back later. Love you all. Take care. Stay safe. Make sure you got some pillows in case we got to sit on the curb and eat our EBT food. Love yous. Bye.